Hey everybody, <laughs> happy Sunday. I am putting together a taco bar for my son's 23rd birthday. And there's a little life hack that I wanna show you. This is one of the things that I teach at my live cooking parties um, for lettuce. But before I do that, I have to show you Pamper Chef's new forged cutlery knives. Um, one of the things that I teach at my parties is how to properly hold a knife. And you do that just by pinching right above the handle and then wrapping these fingers around the handle. It's called choking up on the knife and it gives you a, a better grip so that the knife doesn't slip and slide around in your hand. You shouldn't hold it like that or just like this. And what's really cool is Pamper Chef put a little logo there on both sides so right or left handed it doesn't matter. You know exactly where to put your fingers to pinch on there. So, oh, and our beautiful new wood cutting board that is dual sided. Let me just flip this over real quick and show you. So if you were cutting something that had a lot of liquid in it, like watermelon or meats, they'll all be contained right there. But I'm doing this, no liquids to worry about. We're gonna do this here. So before I learned this trick, I used to start by cutting my lettuce like this and cutting the core off. Anybody else ever done that? Of course, that's the first thing we try to get rid of, right? So instead of doing that, we're gonna use the core to hold the lettuce together for us and make it easier to slice. And we're gonna start by just cutting some uh, vertical strips in the lettuce. So lengthwise, the whole entire uh, lettuce <clears throat> length, rotating it like a quarter turn each time. And then, all you have to do is kind of hold the, pinch the ends together, and you're gonna rock your finger, uh, rock your knife back and forth, keeping your fingers out of the way. So you see I keep these fingers tucked back in a claw, and you can kind of use, if you really practice and do really well, you can use your knuckles as a guide. I'm not quite there yet. But when you're using a chef's knife like this, you really wanna make sure you're keeping the knife in contact with the board as much as possible, using it in a rocking motion. My lettuce isn't sliding very well, which that's what you can kind of do. And you can use your thumb as an anchor to kind of push things through as well. But look at that, so easily chopped up. We've got some really great pieces of lettuce for the taco bar. I've got a whole bunch of lettuce to do here, which I'm not gonna show you all that, but I'm gonna show you one more thing, you get a bonus. Um, I already washed and dry all of our little cherry tomatoes in uh, the salad and berry spinner. And a couple weeks ago, I showed you the clothes and cut for chicken. Today, I'm gonna show you how it works for cherry tomatoes. Just put them in there, slide your knife through, and just like that, your tomatoes are cut in half. So, hope you like that little tip for cutting lettuce, and uh, have a great day, everybody.